I gotta get it, yeah Already winning and this is just the beginning Uh, I'm a menace in this game and I replenish it And these niggas that's in the game, boy they finish Competition, I'm abolishing Straight to my <sighs> Dang it, what is it like? Two, three in the morning, man? Man, that flight drained me, man. It was a dumb flight, babies crying and everything. What are they doing in first class anyway? Well, yeah, man, I'm finally here from Atlanta and I get out of the airport and I notice my ride is not out here. So now I'm kind of pissed. So I call one of my homeboys that's over at my crib because I let people stay in my crib while I'm not there. Call one of my homeboys. I'm like, yo, get my car over here pronto. I'm at the airport. Where you, you at? But you know I told him to bring the Lambo. Look, it's, it matched what I got on right now. But I don't live too far away from the airport, so you shouldn't be that long. Matter of fact, there you go right there. Oh, oh, whoa. What the? Dog, what are you doing, man? Um, wow. Um, okay, then. So I hop. Oh, no, 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 dude. What are you listening to, man? Oh, yeah. Something tells me I don't want him at my house no more. But I pulled up at my house. In this house out of the Lambo, cause I see my boy Mike. Mike, Mike is the doorman of the um, of the so penthouse that I live in. So I told him to just go put the put the Lambo in the garage. As soon as I get up into my room, uh, first thing I gotta do is take these bags off, man. Like they're not too heavy, but I don't want to be carrying them no more. I'm already home, so I go in there and I take the bags off and get that dog done with. The second thing I do, because I missed it so much after being in Atlanta. It just wasn't the same, so I missed it so much. I missed my view of downtown Washington. Oh my God, man! Look, at it. it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. But I had enough of that. I comes over here so I could watch some TV, see what's been up, because I don't even know who we playing in the second round. Uh, how you doing, everybody? I am Davis Rockmore, and I am here to report the news and nothing but the news. It seems that star shooting guard K. Spade has gone down with a, a, a evil-looking injury that will leave him sidelined for the remainder of the playoffs. After finishing off the New York Knicks in four games, they also finished off K. Spade. As you can see right here, he jumped up for the rebound, came down on the ankle, and it just shattered instantly. He just grips the, anger, the ankle's pain, such agony. Can we get a close-up, Phil? Ah. Uh, Okay, we got a close-up, and you see his face. You can tell this injury is nothing to joke about. In a few seconds, we're going to show you the actual x-ray. Oh, yeah, that is a nasty, oh, that's a nasty break. I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. Oh, gosh, that's, yeah, that's that's not even cool right there. Um, Yeah, I feel sorry for the guy. But um, we tried to get an interview with K-Spade. I tried to talk to him, and he just slapped me with a stack of money and told me to go play in traffic. But, um, you know, us here, man, uh, our hearts go out to the Spade family and the Orlando Magic Organization. But people in Washington, no need to bring your umbrellas to the arena because there will be no rainmakers falling that night. All right. Wow. Spade going to be injured for the playoffs. <laughs> Makes my job easier. Let's get into it. The next stage of the Eastern Conference playoff panel begins here. Game one of the conference semifinals. Both these teams have survived and moved one step closer to the title. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. White Howard all game, and that is no picking. D12 is strong. Maybe the strongest big man in the league. He throws it down with force. He runs the floor. He's a fantastic shot blocker and rebounder. This should be fun to watch. And now, State Park presents our starting lineup for game one in the conference semifinals. First for the match, Nelson and Richardson are manning the backcourt. Locking down the middle. He picked up 30 points in their last win against New York. That's Hill, and it's Anderson in at the power forward. And for Washington, all off there with Xavier Henry. And the man in the middle is Nene. An 11 point game for him in the win against Atlanta. And it's Watch in at the four man position. They are a team that certainly got to feel pretty confident right now, having swept their last. What's good, everybody? 
Um, as you can see right now, we got the Orlando Magic, and how convenient for us that K Spade has went down with a broken ankle. Wow, man. But um, first of all, shout out to K Spade for even allowing me to use his name. I hit him up over Twitter because I just had this idea in my head. I just hit him up over Twitter, asking him, can I use his name or whatnot? Because I just ain't want to just throw him in the video without him even knowing. So, and, but he responded back ASAP and was like, "Yo, go ahead. You got the green light for me." So, you no, know, shout out to him again for that. But. As you can see right here, we are getting trashed without K Spade by the Orlando Magic. I mean, Dwight Howard getting crazy dunks, um, threes falling from every direction. Three, or, uh, at least threes is falling from our direction too. As you see, I knocked down the three. Finally able to put some points up on the board. But later on in the quarter, our defense started to lock back down on him a little bit. As you see right here, I got the block on Dwight Howard. But a lot of inconvenient things like this started happening. Running fast, break, stop, shoot a three. And of course that goes in as, come on, bro. Like that type of crap is just gets me pissed off. But I got a three right back in our direction, though. Do you see that three? So, so at least it's kind of fair, man. Right here, I'm just putting my head down, trying to get to the rim, make something happen. And I get fouled. And like, it, it, this, this game is like very serious because this is our first playoff game at home. We moved on to the second round. You know, we're a real young team. We moved on to the second round, and we feel strong that we could possibly win the series without the one of these star players not be without being here. But you see right here, I'm trying to get back to the rim, and I get fouled again, and I would make both free throws. So, yeah. But right here, I'm playing defense on Turkoglu. I jump, and he pump fake me into a foul. Cause I'm thinking, who pump fakes with one second left on the clock? But obviously, Turkoglu does, and you already know where I'm going with two fouls right to the bench but I come back in and we only down by two so but as soon as I come back in they welcome me with some great old American shot clock cheese ain't that the finest and then I turn the ball over and then on the fast break Grant Hill gets the slam I guess that's a 39 year old slam for you but right here man we just trying to do some of our offenses nothing is happening as you see he is bricking that three it's, it's, it's just looking horrible for us, but look, they can hit a three. Oh, and another piece of that good old shot clock cheese. Mm, it's just tasty. And then when they wasn't shooting threes, Dwight Howard was just basically doing whatever he wanted in the paint. It was just like, ah, it was just getting to us, man. But only time our offense really worked was like on plays like that, pick and rolls. Of stuff on the fast breaks, but that's basically it. But this is what we basically had to do. I had to play phenomenal defense, get a block or a turnover or something like that, then run the floor and get alley oop. So that was basically the only thing we could do. But wow, that alley shoot was crazy, man. Like it just now hit me that that was ridiculous. That was a crazy, oop. not an alley oop, but crazy. Oop. But right here, I see I got Jameer Nelson. I said, get that, yo, get off me. And I go up for another alley -oop. So basically, this is what we had to do to score because they defense was really locking us down. Like, this is the first time I really faced some tough defense. Now I'm starting to realize why they won the season series against us 3 1. But you see Grant Hill trying to get sneaky back door on the baseline. But I blocked that shot to, to somewhere. I don't even know. Yeah, to the moon. I'm going to say that. I didn't use that one. But then look at this. Right back. So we, just like that, we down 10 again. Jay Rich hitting the three. But me, I'm not going to let my team fall out like that. See, I got the parent to lean in your face. But off of that turnover, and I'm just going to close my eyes for this. Mm, I could, nah, I couldn't close my eyes. I couldn't resist, man. That was crazy. But let's get into this half. It's HP at the half. Round two of the playoffs is getting started. Let's catch up to the action. Orlando on top against the Wizards at Verizon Center. They're looking to make a statement in game one and set the tone for the series. A solid performance by Dwight Howard. Shooting nearly 70% so far. A gaudy shooting percentage. The envy of everybody playing tonight. And a scrappy effort by Washington. It's been a gritty defensive effort with some emphatic rejections on the highlight reel. John Wall certainly contributing with his all-court play. He's got eight points and is up to his usual tricks, dropping a lot of dimes all over the court. So getting into this third quarter off the missed shot, you see me right here running the fast break, and I dare somebody to get in front of me because I'm going all out, and I guess the layup to go. So we're trying to bring the beat back for my team, but the lead is looking very scary. As you see them hitting the three, 
Cause our perimeter defense this game just sucked. Like it was, it just sucked. And you see Ryan Anderson getting another three. So now it's a 16 point game. I don't know how we gonna bring it back. Well, for starters, I'm gonna hit me a three. I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna keep fighting for my team. As you see me running around, getting a patented leaner. So when, when all else fails, get a patented leaner. But you see John Wall bringing a one-two step to the paint, getting a layup. So me and John Wall been holding it down right now. See me spinning off, get my boy Nene involved as he hits the short jumper. I got a quite six assists. You ain't really see the assists, but yeah, they've been coming. But you see me playing great defense until this happens. I'm like, oh my God, how can we give this up? Like, any other team probably would have quit right by now because of what's going on. Especially, look at this turnover problem. Jason Richardson on the break. You know that he's not going to miss a dunk. Come on now. But me, I'm going right back at him, dunking on Dwight Howard. Letting him know, I don't care how big this lead is. I'm going to keep bringing the heat. And I'm going to dunk on you, whatever. But then I knew the world was ending. I know the world ended. Dwight Howard just hit the jump. But that's enough said about that. But right here, I'm in the corner. I shoot a three. I miss. It's all good. So right now, I'm kind of slow to get back. Transition. But and yeah, I'm kind of slow to get back in transition. He hit a three. And that was my man. So I'm like, what the heck happened? Like, why was I slow to get back? So I had to go to the replay. I go to the replay. I watch it, I'm looking, I missed the three, and look at Grant Hill, look at Grant Hill cheesing, yo, the Orlando Magic is cheesing to win, man, that's, the, wow, that's crazy, but I'm like, okay, y'all wanna cheese, it's, it's all good, y'all go ahead and cheese, but I'm gonna pull this three right in your face, and get a bucket from three, man, so I'm, I'm definitely trying to bring it back for my team, as you see me getting the steal right here, crossing him up behind his back, getting the ball to John Wall, he getting the layup, so we trying to come back into this game, man. But I'm like, oh no, he better not. He better not. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, shot clock cheese. Okay, shot clock cheese. That's okay. You see me running around, get to the free throw line, getting the jumper to fall. But then they say, you know what? Let's hit another three on him, and this this to shut him up. So I'm like, wow, man, this game is getting ridiculous. It's getting crazy. But you see me getting the block, running the fast break. John Wall running with the ball. He give it to me. I got nothing, so I give it back to John Wall. And he pulls up for the three at the buzzer. And I'm just happy I can get up out of that quarter right now. But right now I'm going to get the ball, hit him with a series of hesitations, and pull up and get the bucket all in his face. So you know how we do on the fast break. We're trying to get a stop, but they throw it to Turkaloo in the corner, and they get another three, man. These guys have been hitting threes all game, man. But luckily right here, I'm able to get to the rim to pick up the foul, and I now I got to go to the line for these two free throws. So I got I got to make these. So the first one get perfect release, and I've taken a lot of the pressure off of me in front of my home crowd to make the second one. So I'm not too worried about this one. I get that one up and that one goes too. So we definitely got to do something. We got to get some stops. Chris Duhon running around with the ball. He don't know what he's doing. You hear the shot clock winding down. I don't even got to tell you what's about to happen. Wow, man. Like, continue. This has been happening all game. I just got used to it, bro. But they double teaming him in the corner. I gave him a pump fake. And I just hand the ball off to Seraphin. He up fakes and gets the layup and gets me my 10th assist. So this is my second playoff triple double. But I set a screen for Xavier Henry, and he pulls up, and he gets the clutch three. Oh, my God. That was three is much needed. Right here, we need another stop. And Turkulu beats me off of the dribble and gets the goaltended basket. And I hope you're not happy about that, but I felt so bad that I just let this man beat me off the dribble. So I got to do something. I'm coming around the screen. I'm wide on for this three. I shoot it. Oh, my God. And it goes in a clutch three. Wow, man, this is this game is getting serious. Now they're giving the ball to their best player. Where do I how get those dribble moves from? He pump fix and he gets the basket. So right now we gotta do something, man. They call another play for me to come around the screen. I come around wide open, but they give me the ball kind of late. Luckily, I could beat him off the dribble and get the clutch dunk. Oh, it's getting crazy in here. You just see they just moved out the way. But they don't want to give me the foul too. But right here in the closing seconds of the game, after we made a big stop, I got the opportunity to win it for my team. I pull it up at the free throw line. Uh, in and out. Oh, my gosh. The basket went in and out. 
Oh, we gotta get a stop right here. Oh, we gonna lose this game, man. Oh, so, alright, so, oh, almost get the steal right there in the inbounds. They give it to Dwight Howard, isolation, and then they strips him. Oh, my God, he throw it up to John Wall. He gives it to Blash, and Blash gets the layup with two seconds left on the clock. Wow, and they didn't have any more timeouts, and they just have to throw it up. Oh, my God, this was a crazy game. A crazy win. We came all the way back. Nene was so clutch. This is his second time coming up clutch in a playoff game. Wow, man. This Thank you to him, man. I holler at y'all for game two. So high, feeling like I'm out of space. So high, feeling like I'm out of space. Blowing on a loud, yeah, we smoke a lot. Got me feeling like an astronaut in outer space. Feeling like I'm out of space. Feeling like I'm out of space. You guys go up 1-0 with the win tonight, getting things off on the right foot in this series. How do you capitalize on that moving forward to Game 2? It's good to get a win in that first game. I know we definitely felt the pressure to get it done and not have to play from behind. When you start any series out with a win, it gives you that much extra confidence moving forward. I think we just need to do everything we can to carry that forward to Game 2.